feels. Most of us pay attention to the hair on our heads. We comb it, cut it, color it, wash it, run our fingers through it. We brush it out of the way. Maybe we wish we had more of it. But what about body hair? It depends on who you ask. John Doe doesn't pay any attention to his leg hair. It's always been there and it always will be. Jane shaves her leg hair every day. Regardless of what you do with it, body hair is there and it's there for a reason. That reason is the nervous system. Our skin is divided into a sort of grid and in each square there's hair. The hair is touched or the skin around it responds to temperature change or changes in our hormones. And the nerves that attach to this patch of skin register that movement. They run it directly into the spinal cord and up to the brain. Depending on the type of signal that is sent, it tells us what we need to know about our environment. What is the temperature? How close is that branch that I'm walking next to? Think of your hair like a personal bodyguard. Our hair stands on end in response to something disconcerting in our environment. Basically, our body hair is alerting us to danger. It keeps us warm, it helps wick away sweat, and it keeps away insects. Before we feel any touch on the skin, we feel it through our hair. There are many cultures that have believed for centuries that hair helps you sense your environment. Uh, like whiskers on a cat. Current neuroscience seems to agree with that, with how important the nervous system is for our health and our ability to function. I think it's only fair to give our body hair some attention, some awareness. They're the first line of defense in our nervous system. If you're interested, I found a fascinating article. It's from Science Daily. Give it a read. Thanks so much for listening. Have a beautiful day.